Short stories, what are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Just kidding, let's find out. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over reasons why I think you should write short stories, and why Isla thinks you should too. Really quickly, this video is sponsored by the Wise Writer Award. This is a short story competition created to celebrate writing across the globe. I'll have more information on that in just a little bit, but the link for it is down below and I would appreciate it if you checked it out. If you had asked me a couple years ago um, if I thought that short stories were worth your while, I would have said not to waste your time. But after writing my novella, I realized that writing an intentionally short story AKA not just starting a novel and never finishing it. <laughs> you can learn so much more for so many different reasons. With that being said, this week's video has been highly requested for quite some time now for me to talk about contests and short stories. Both of them I've had multiple requests for. So without further ado, let's jump in. Number one, there's a shorter feedback loop. By this, I mean that you can learn something much faster with a short story than it would take for you to learn it with an entire novel. Say you want to try a new method of outlining. If you test that theory out with a novel and it doesn't go your way, you're gonna spend so much more time fixing that mistake than if it was in a short story. For this reason, I think writing something shorter than a novel is going to help you in writing full length novels. Short stories are great for trying new things, for testing out different methods, and they can improve your writing potentially much faster than with a novel. Number two, it's easy to spot your quirks. This goes off of number one and it's very similar, but a lot of us have our own writing quirks. Um, some of us over describe things, some of us under describe, which is definitely me. I don't know why she is smacking like that. You may use the same phrase over and over again, um, like she held her breath or she took a deep breath or something like that. Whatever your quirks are, sometimes it's easier for you to spot things and for others to spot things when there's fewer words to process. If you have a critique partner that's going over your 100,000 word novel, quirks like this may get lost in the mix and it's gonna be much easier to spot these things in a 2,000 word story. They may not be as prevalent or as redundant as they might be in a longer story, but when every single word counts, because for so many contests, there is a word count limit. So really every single word counts. Again, because you're not spending as much time on this project as you might with a full length novel, it's gonna be easier to reshape your own craft and eliminate or perhaps even groom these quirks if you want to keep them and intentionally make them part of your style. Number three, marketing purposes. People love free stories. A short story may be something that you can give away to people. If you're not in the market to give away your stories, you can always sell them publish them. While your price point may be a little lower if you self-publish your short stories, it's still gonna be a great way to get your name out there and for people to familiarize themselves with your style of writing without having to jump into a longer novel. For example, my novella, which is free on my website, um, people have read that before reading The Elysian Prophecy. It's a prequel, but because they read the novella and they liked it, they went on to buy my book. Short stories can serve the same exact purpose. Additionally, you can earn street cred, so to speak, by winning writing contests, which brings me to the sponsor for this video. I've had a ton of people request more information on contests and asking me if I know of any contests, so this is for you. Not only do you get street cred for this one, but first through third place, get some cash money. There is a 2,500 word limit on this one and you can write it in any genre as long as it's not something that's been previously published. The deadline to enter is June 15th and the winner will be announced on July 20th, so get on it. This specific writing contest is only $13 to enter, 13 US dollars that is, and anyone internationally over the age of 16 can enter the Wise Writer Award. For more information on this and to enter, the link is down below. Number four, to get back to the fun of writing. I think that most people who've written a novel can attest to this, but after you've been writing one story for years, you can get pretty sick of it. Your passion starts to turn into work and you know that you should finish this project before you move on to your next one. So part of you ends up hating your story just because you've been working on it for so long. Short stories and novellas are great for reigniting that passion and they can allow you to focus back in on the fun of a project 
without spending too much time doing it. I seriously had so much fun writing The Architect of Elysia, and I know I will be incorporating more novellas into my future series, even within the same Elysian Prophecy series, because it's just a nice break from longer stories. They can be a little daunting. Number five, it's a confidence booster. If you're out of practice when it comes to writing, short stories are a great way to jump back in without too much of an investment, just so you can get back on the horse, so to speak. Similarly, they may be a great confidence booster in terms of output. You may be able to write five or 10 times as many short stories as you would a full length novel, and although quality in the same amount of time, I guess. <laughs> and although quality is always better than quantity, it feels pretty good sometimes to be like, yep, I wrote 10 short stories this year. Number six, you can test a story idea. When I was brainstorming reasons why you should write short stories, this one popped into my head and I kind of like it. I haven't done it before, but I'm going to. I never thought about testing out a story idea, but now I'm definitely gonna try it, especially in my new series that I'm gonna get going after this um, current work in progress. With a short story, you can test out a potential idea that you may have and you can figure out whether or not you want to pursue it right now before you dive in and potentially lose steam halfway through. This can be particularly helpful for people who have a slew of ideas and they just don't know which one to dive into next. While you can't go into great detail with a short story, it may also serve well to use the short story to brainstorm a backstory on a character so you can get to know them better before jumping into the full length novel, or it may be a great way to brainstorm the climax for your novel, whatever it is. I don't know about you guys, but I am somebody who has to write out my thoughts in order to organize what I wanna say. Some people are the talk it out kind of people. I am a write it out kind of person. So before I write my novel, I have to write what I'm going to write about. <laughs> I seriously hope that makes sense. Basically like an outline, I guess. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope this was super helpful. Again, click on the link down below to get more information on the writing contest and drop a comment down below if you decide to enter. The timing isn't right for me right now to enter a writing competition, but I'm excited to know how it goes for other people. And I think it'd be really amazing if one of my own viewers was the person who won it. Just saying, you guys are awesome. Remember to check out my program called Dreamer to Doer up in the iCards. You can use the discount ILA30 for 30% off until June 5th. So be sure to go check that out. And as always, if you want any bonus content, you can check out my Patreon page and become a member of the Happy Writing community. Until next time, happy writing.